Hey church, just a few minutes ago we did a live video in regards to changes that are happening within the church and thank you Jennifer for letting us know that the audio was not working the greatest. We actually went and got a microphone so that you could hear us a little bit more clear. But um, hopefully this is the last update that we will be doing on our Facebook page regarding the changes that are happening within the church. Uh, we understand that it, it, there's been a lot of things that have changed and uh, it's, it's a little bit frustrating trying to keep up with all of it. It's also frustrating for us trying to implement all these things. But nonetheless, we are moving towards uh, uh, going back to normal and trying to figure out what that looks like. So hopefully this will be the last video that we'll be doing in an update uh, for our Facebook page as to what are some of the changes that are happening. Now, even though I'm not going to go in full detail as to uh, what some of those changes are, just because um, it, it, would take a, it would take too long, this last Thursday, the board and I got together and we talked about what are some of the ways that we're going to be moving back towards uh, hopefully that norm that we had before and, uh, and, and get back to that way. Now, it's, it's going slowly, it's facing into it, and there are changes that will be happening, but one of the things that we really tackled on was our online services. You know, we're, we're trying to figure out what some of the changes are gonna be on site, and we'll be talking about those on Sunday, like I said, but our online services are something that are pretty significant, and here's the reason why. When we, uh, when we started uploading our services, it was something that we wanted to make available for, you know, we have volunteers and we have people that are sometimes uh, tied up doing ministry that are unable to attend the service. So we wanted to make it available for them. And we decided to upload them to uh, YouTube and have them available that way. But it was never intended to be a platform, even though it's a great opportunity of ministry, it was never intended to be a platform that we're gonna solely um, depend on. But then COVID-19 happened and things had to change. That's how we had to go into it. As we've been talking through these last couple of um, months, the board and I, we've very much established that, you know what, even though it's a great platform and we know that we are reaching people far beyond the Wadena area, which is great. If I, we understand that there are people uh, down by the cities that are watching and we understand that there are people from different areas that are watching. So we don't want to diminish the fact that the digital platform is a great avenue to reach people. But nonetheless, one of the things that we are hoping to do is to scale back on that because it does require a lot of efforts. Even though it just seems like it would just be uh, upload and be done, it actually takes time to edit and to make sure that it's uh, ready to go. Throughout the last couple of weeks, we've been struggling to even meet the 2 p.m. deadline. So we've kind of been evaluating what is, uh, what is the engagement online during these times. And we know that it's Minnesota summers and people are getting out and they're going out and doing things. So we understand that that, that plays a factor in it. Nonetheless, the engagement has definitely dropped and we are spending a lot of our efforts in trying to make sure that it's there at that certain time. So a few changes are coming to our online service. That's really the point of this video. Starting this Sunday, we are uh, moving our time for our online service from 2 p.m to 6 p.m. just to give us more time to upload it for this week. But here's a significant change for the weeks after that, and that is that we will be uploading our services now on Monday rather than on Sunday. Um, and once again, this is, uh, this is something that we're gonna do for a while longer, but understand that our, uh, our hope is to be a community church that is within our community, reaching our community, bringing people in to gather together, to worship together, to grow their faith together, to do life together. And we pray that that is, able, that is something that people are able to find within their communities. Once again, not discrediting the fact that we should look for resources that can help us grow. And we appreciate that that is the case. We are not gonna uh, completely go off the radar online, but it is gonna change as our resources here at Epicenter are limited. So that is some one of the big changes that is happening for this week. Once again, if you go at 2 p.m., it will no longer be available at 2 p.m. It will be uploaded at 6 p.m. It will be premiere, and then the following weeks, it will just be uploaded on Monday normally. Um, so that's one of the changes to the online service. The other thing that we talked about is our ministries within Epicenter. Uh, Sarah Steinkoff and I had, uh, our kids coordinator and I have been in contact in regards to what ministry is going to look like for kids you know throughout the summer and for the rest of the summer we are unable to have uh, kids ministry but we are already planning for our fall ministries with student ministries and with kids ministry 
The other thing that we are looking at is also the concert. So those things we're still planning on uh, doing. We're spending a lot of effort and energy into those things. But I just want to emphasize the fact that we are, want to be a church that is reaching um, our community, that is preaching the truth. And especially right now in a time where there is so much chaos, there are so many things that are creating fear in us. We want to continue to gather together as a body of believers, encouraging one another. And I, I know that at times it's easy when we get off the habit of meeting together. But nonetheless, uh, one of the things that I love is the, the importance that the board and I continue to see in gathering together and seeing meeting people where they're at. So we are planning on moving uh, a little bit away from, well, we are planning on moving away from our on, online services in regards to being uploaded on Sunday Sunday afternoons, but they will continue to be uploaded on Monday and we will make sure and continue to upload the content as it is available. So that is one of the major changes we wanted to talk about, but be aware that this Sunday we will be talking more about what our Sunday on-site services are going to look like. I am super excited about the changes that are happening in regards to, we're, once again, we're working towards getting back to normal, but Keep in mind that we are working diligently in making sure that we are uh, we are having safe practices in place, not only for health concerns, but in every other aspect. We are living in a crazy and wild world right now. And I, I love the opportunity that we have to get together as a church body and encourage one another. And we don't take that lightly. So we are continuing to work hard and be diligent in regards to caring for uh, the church body and um, having safe practices for when you do come and attend here. So we encourage you, if you haven't signed up for this week, once again, I just want to remind you that we did bump up our seating capacity. So now we are at 120. And I'm excited about this week's service. I really hope that it records so that we can upload it at six. Um, but nonetheless, it's going to be, uh, I, I know that right now with everything that is happening, this series, Fear Tactics, Tactics, is one that I'm looking forward to as it's going to address some of the cultural things that are happening around us and how we as Christians should be responding uh, with everything that's going on. It's not just COVID-19. It's a, it's a constant changes that are happening in our culture and creating panic and fear within the hearts of people. So, we look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. Once again, just a reminder, I know that uh, I elaborated a lot on it, but I want for you to know why we are changing times on our online services. And once again, just keep in mind that we are now having our service for this week at 6 p.m. rather than 2, and next week it will just be changing and it will just be done um, when we are able to on Monday morning. So thanks for watching. We hope to see you on Sunday.